Hello, I'm going to show you how you can export HTML table to JSON, CSV, and PDF using JSPDF to the JS library. Okay, you need to follow this simple procedure. After my illustrations here, I will show you a link where you can download this sample. So you want to use it anywhere. So let's quickly convert this to HTML. Let's start writing our HTML code like this. I want to create a simple table that I want to export. So I want to use um, Bootstrap throughout. So it's inside Bootstrap dot. That my Bootstrap file is inside here. So let me start my table. Bootstrap. Since it's Bootstrap, I want to use table. Table bordered. So my table want to have um, header, just three header. My one serial number. The second one should be first name. This last one should be last name. Okay, my data mm, number one. The second data. The third data. So let me repeat this like four times or three times more. Two. A form okay. Now let's run this code and see. You can see what I just do now. I want to have um, three buttons. Three buttons. The first one should be JSON. JSON. The second one. Let me just write JSON here. The second one. Let's do it like this. I want to arrange it. Okay, this one should be um, PDF. A PDF. Okay, what well, the line should be what CSV. That is command separated value. Uh, your Excel you will open that CSV. CSV. Okay. So my button language class BTN. BTN success. Then add it to the second button here. Let me add it to the third button here. Let's space this button. Okay. So by click here to download in JSON, download in PDF, download in CSV. So how you now write the code? You will need like um, four libraries. So all my libraries, I have them here. When you download the source code, you will see them inside the folder called CRC folder. So all this library, I'm going to use them. Let's come to the before the end of body here. Let me add them one after the other. So the first one should be uh, slim. So this first one. So I'm going to use jQuery slim. inside the folder called this okay let's copy this for one two three four so the second library i'm going to use now is the second library i'm going to use is a um, gs pdf as gs pdf my second library to use yes so the third library to use is called GSPDF Auto Table. Is it? Yes. The last one to use is the last one here. Okay. All right. Now after this, you now start writing your code like this okay now the first uh, the first one we have JSON so not my JSON I use an ID so it's Ash we are going to use JSON dot on click so that when you click on it what will happen function so what will happen this your table should be 
downloaded okay but my table we need to give it a name let me give it id let me call it example okay so we are going to make use of that id here put like this id that example so it means the table dot table so that means table html export okay so what is the uh, format you want to use the format should be json json after that what is the file name as in when you download it what will be the file name that will be shown let me just put sample.json okay so that is all so that's all for that okay so let's first test run the json when it will work so let me click on json you see it's downloaded so we, wow you can see the output there fine okay now let's check the pdf one let me just copy this code and change this one to pdf this should be changed to pdf okay let's check this one also refresh then click here okay why is not downloaded uh, pdf also so click here it happens that it's unable to download this pdf okay let's leave this pdf we we'll do that one we we'll still do it but let me do the last one which is csv csv dot csv let's check this one see wow so the two they are working properly but this pdf what you need to do is you need to modify this your table you know this our table we, we didn't categorize it very well so let's do it very well by having t head t, uh, t body so the first we have t head so inside here we have th so serial number th first name th last name after th we have um t body so inside t body we have this tr td the first one let's say the second one second data the third one so my I have, I have the first record, the second, the third. Okay, now let's run this. You see the way it looks like. So let's not check the PDF. Wow, it's downloaded. Okay. You can see how it works now. That means you need to have T head. You need to have your T body. You know, in the T head, that's where we have the heading. In the T body, that's where we have the data. So normal in HTML. So, if you run it, JSON downloaded, CSV downloaded, PDF downloaded. So, let's click here. Wow, well, you can see your data. So, here. So, this is how it's now previewed. Putting the head there and the, and the other thing. Okay. Refresh it again. You can see that it's customizing the head for you. So, you want to download this code come to this place web builder 7.com slash library slash now the name of this library we use this time around a gspdf just type gspdf there so you should download this our sample so uh and the second tutorial i want to show you is how you can use gm pdf make so next tutorial you watch out so in that pdf in that pdf make that's when you can learn without going through all these libraries all these um t body maybe you just want to capture what you have in, in image format and it will not convert it to a pdf so that's how that one works okay so so just watch out in the next um sample here now i'm going to show you now that's where you learn how to do um, PDF make. Hello, hello. Today I'm going to show you how you can export HTML table to PDF using 
uh, PDF Make.js library. This is very simple. What you need is to set up your HTML table, then add the button. When you click on the button to download uh, the, the table in PDF format. Okay, how we go about it? Let's start our documents. Let me create a simple HTML table with Bootstrap. So let me use the library Bootstrap. I have this my Bootstrap library inside this folder called Bootstrap. Uh, this folder CSS folder. So the name is bootstrap.css. Okay, let's create the table. All right, I'm going to have um, um adding of my table. It's serial number, first name, and last name. So let me have it like this. So serial number, I'm going to have um, first name and uh, last name. Okay, my table, uh, my data should come here. The first one, the second one, and this last one. Okay, that's my first data. Let me just copy this by four times two, three, and four. So let's save this into our documents called um, lecture. Let me name it as index.html. So let's, let's run it. All right, okay, I've not had this class there. So you add the class, class table, table, uh, let me use about that. Okay, wow. So let add the button that when you click on the button, let me centralize the button like this. Button, let's see download PDF. Let's go to class, btm, btm, success. Um, let me add on click. That means when I click it, it should not download the documents. Download doc. Okay, so let's see how it looks like. I see. So when I click on this, it should not download the document. Now, you need um, three libraries the first jQuery, we need uh, HTML make them, um, yeah, um, PDF make, and the last one we need the canvas. So I have these libraries. You see, I have it here. So let me quickly link them. Scripts. The first thing to link is your jQuery. I have it like this. jQuery.js. Followed by jQuery make. So let me check it here. You can use PDF, sorry, PDF make. So let's put it here, PDF make. And the last one, is canvas so let me copy that html to canvas uh -huh. so we have three the fourth is jQuery the second is pdf make the third is uh, html to canvas and all these three like don't worry when I'm after this uh, tutorial I'm going to give you a link where you download my sample as in the whole code here after this now let's start our JavaScript code that when I click on this download button, so I'm going to use JavaScript. This, so when I click on this button, what will happen? So you are going to put what will happen there. So what do you want to show is when people when you click on this button, so the action should come here. So what will happen? HTML to canvas open brackets now the name of the table oh, sorry we've not added let me give it id let's see um, table data like that so we are going to make use of it no is idea you so it's hash that table data the i mean in the first one sorry the first one that is the, the first array okay you are going to put poly bracket like this on rendered that function so pass a parameter covers. So let me create two variables. The first one should be this my covers parameter to data URL. That the first one. The second one and create definition of this. I 
I'm just is a is a variable name. Any name you can give. It. So the content, how do you want the content to be? Like so put square brackets. So the image should become data comma the width of this pdf should be 500 you can increase this later so terminate this please okay after terminating come down here so this is where you now write the code to to download it that pdf make in camel case dot create create pdf so open bracket that your do document definitions here just download so this is when they not download but what's the name of the file to download Let's call it table.pdf. So that's all. That's all for your code. So let's run it. Click here. You can see the file is downloaded. Let me click on this list to check. You can see. So this is the file. All right. So that is simple way. That is simple way. You can see a simple way to change your PDF, uh, to change your HTML doc, um, table. To PDF, you can see. I see. And to download this sample code, come to this. Go to this website, webbuilder7.com/slash/tutorials/library. Or yeah, sorry, go here. PDF make. PDF make. So we go to this place. You can see a place to download this my sample code. All right. And don't forget to subscribe to this YouTube channel so that next time I release a new video, you'll be aware and you get notification. Don't forget to click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button. Okay, thank you.